Hello and welcome to another informative video from Smartbook Games. My name is Chris and today we are going to talk about the top 10 most popular books by Akiko Igashino. Are you ready? Let's begin. Author bio. Akiko Igashino is a Japanese author chiefly known for his mystery novels. He served as the 13th president of Mystery Writers of Japan from 2009 to 2013. Ikashino has won major Japanese awards for his books, almost 20 of which have been turned into films and TV series. Number one, Malice. The creator of Detective Galileo returns with another fiendishly clever Chinese, make that Japanese box of why I've done it. Each time you convince Igashino's room every possible twist of the discovering a setup, he comes up with a new one. If you still miss the days of the murder of the Roger Ackroyd, you can't do better than this fleet inventive retro puzzler. Number two, the devotion of suspect X. A veteran police detective matches wits with a brilliant rookie criminal. This character-driven mystery by the prolific Ikashino, one of only a few translated into English, has much to recommend it, including a droll Columbo-like sleuth and a great su surprise ending. Number three, The Miracles of the Namiya General Store. A fantasy novel tells the story of three thieves who inadvertently become advice purveyors after seeking shelter in an, an abandoned store. And an endearing tale about a magical correspondence. <laughs> Number four, Newcomer. Demoted back to the local policing from the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department on the size division, Kisho Kaka makes a deep impression on the quiet Nimbusley precinct. Part Sherlock Holmes, part Emery Bosch, Igashino's hero is a quietly majestic force to be reckoned with. He is hoping for his promotion to seem to bring him to the attention of readers from east to west. Number five, Silent Parade. Physics professor Mambi Yoka, a fourth round of criminal investigation leads from the discovery of corpses old and new to a series of mind-boggling theories about their connection. Fans of Golden Age puzzles will wish this one could go on forever. Number six, A Midsummer's Equation. The third case for Tokyo homicide detective, Shumpi Kusika and Professor Mambu Yokoya, who teaches physics at Imperial University, takes them far away from Tokyo and far back from the present day as well. Less placeful and more laboured than its predecessors, but just as ingenious in working one twist after another in a case that seems absolutely twist-proof. Number seven, Salvation of a Saint. Tokyo's CEO's determination to run his marriage as a business is ended by a dose of arsenic acid. A retro puzzler that recalls Anthony Berkeley's classic The Poison Chocolate Case in its structure that a hyper extended short story whose complications keep unfolding and proliferating till it's grown to novel length. Number eight, Under the Midnight Sun. Igashino leaves behind the increasingly weighty cases of de Detective Galileo for an even more daunting standalone that traces the fallout of an un 
been solved for murder through nearly two decades. Despite its epic length, the casino keeps it is worth remarkably claustrophobic scatterings of enough references to movies, current events and first generation home computers to let you know where the lead characters aging but powerless to change stand as the story rolls towards its bleakly preordained end. Pretty good, I would think. Number nine, a death in Tokyo. The fatal stabbing of a prominent businessman in the heart of Tokyo unleashes a fury of scandal. The dark side, midnight side of Tokyo masterfully revealed. Reading this now. Thank you for watching. Which one of these books will you be reading next? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell for more top 10 books by a whole range of fantastic authors. Bye for now. See you all again real soon.